Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Geo here, and today we're doing a sweet unboxing. I just couldn't leave the year without doing one. Here is from Mega House, the Gem Series two-piece PVC set of Gegege no Kitaro. Let's do it. All right, let's begin with the first accessory. Here we have Suneko Sori. He is both a cat and dog-like yokai that likes to rub against people's legs while they walk on rainy nights. Looking pretty awesome with some really nice attention to detail. Look at that cute face. And here we have the actual figure for Kitaro. A young yokai boy and last surviving member of the Ghost Tribe. He fights for peace between the humans and the yokai. Wonderful attention to detail. Obviously, this is based off the 2018 design. Here we take a look at the base, looking really cool. I love the spirit swirly patterns. And of course, the geta are really well made. Same with the chanchanko, looking really cool, or the vest made out of spirit thread, if I remember correctly. Of course, here we have the or one of the bake garasu, or just, you know, monster crow, or just a regular crow. They bring all the notifications, all the letters to the Kitaro family on what needs to be done when it comes to yokai and missions and all that stuff. Letters sent by people. Also, a uh, quick notice, the leg of the crow goes into the arm. There's a little peg there. If you're not careful, you might break that thing. Mine is on the verge of breaking, so uh, watch out for that. But overall, the figure just looks amazing. I love the design of the 2018 anime. It also comes with a different portrait, head portrait if you will. If you want to change that, you just grab onto the head and wobble it a little bit. And here is the second head, so you can see a different uh, facial expression, which matches the Karasu, because he's looking at the crow as he's delivering a letter to him. But I kind of prefer the head sculpt with uh, Medama Oyaji, but yeah, if you want to take it out, you can do that and display it properly, like so. Take the other head, pop it right there, take the hair piece top, and you are good to go, and you just place it on top of the body. I really enjoy that even though it is based on the 2018 anime where, you know, uh, Kitaro is more uh, lanky, I guess I should say, he still has that look that you instantly recognize him from the original manga back in the 60s. Great attention to detail, fantastic paint abs, and it literally looks like it came out of the 2018 anime. Okay, here we have the red, the stylish red base, I should say, for uh, the second figure of this set of this video here, this unboxing of Neko Musume or cat girl, if you will. She is a cat spirit and a member of the Kitaro family. She's always displayed as a romantic interest, or at least she's interested in our boy Kitaro, but you know, boy's all about saving people, not falling in love, right? And the attention to detail on the figure is really cool. I love the fluid movement of the dress and uh, how it's just whooshing off to the side. Uh, the attention to detail on the hair, the ribbon, the pose is obviously a very cat-like pose, uh, getting ready to pounce on the attack. This comes with an alternate uh, set of hands, as well as another face portrait. We're going to take a look at that now. Take the arms off right here, very easy to do. Just follow the shape and you'll be fine. We take off the hair piece right there and the head is a little bit stiff. You just got to wobble it a little bit and it'll come out just fine. Don't worry about it. And here we have the other face, obviously more cat-like with her powers activated, if you will, looking really badass. I love that. And of course, the hands look really awesome. Uh, look at those sharp clawed fingernails. I love it uh, with the other arm as well. And putting it on is the same as uh, the other one. Just match the shape and add it. And look at that awesome portrait. This looks phenomenal. This is my preferred 
uh, way of displaying this figure and I'll leave it like this looking really awesome and menacing now the main issue with this uh, figure is the actual pose it's not a bad one but it really falls flat as you're seeing here if you're not looking at it from a higher uh, perspective or up on your shelf or something like that it, it kind of looks weird you're just seeing the top of her head and shoulders and you're not really getting all the details with the face and the menacing glare and all that stuff it really does take away from the figure a little bit especially depending on uh, your display options if you are uh, adding this to a lower shelf or something like that it's not going to look the best so let's get Kitaro in here with uh, Neko Musume and I really enjoy the pair and I wish they would come out with more of the Kitaro family so we could have a full set that would be pretty badass but having the two of them I think uh, it, you know the whole family is emblematic but I think if you could only do two I think they pick the right ones the Kitaro figure even though he's smaller you get added elements to it the different yokai and of course his uh, father included there as well uh, having the Medama Oyaji in there is a really fun little Easter egg that brings the statue further to life and overall, what can I say? I mean, yeah, look how cool it looks like this, elevated. Um, if you're looking at it dead on and not from a higher position, I think it looks great like that. They should have worked maybe like a rock or something into the, into the display base uh, that would keep the figure like that. Kitaro just came out wonderful. And the two figures, the paint applications and the attention to detail, like I said earlier, are phenomenal and they really look like they jumped out of the TV screen and into your home uh, with the way they were crafted. I really love these figures. Uh, I don't collect them that often, anime figures and whatnot, but I just had to have them because I love the series and I love the original manga of Gegege no Kitaro. So yeah, this I'm in love with these two figures and I'm proudly displaying them on my uh, shelf. So yeah, overall, that is my quick little unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little tricky to make because I recorded this on three separate uh, locations just to make it a little bit more uh, different compared to my typical unboxings and, and reviews and whatnot. So thank you so much. If you're a fan of Gegege no Kitaro, let me know in the comments section down below which of the many yokai featured in the series is your favorite. Mine just happens to be Neko Musume. So yeah, thank you everybody once again. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. I truly do appreciate your support. That's about it. Thank you everybody. I've got to go. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.